So we have a scripture reading from Pastor Fred. For the Lord. Word of God from the Apostle Paul, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15 to verse 18. Shall read for your hearing. For this we say to you we by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Tato tele mua mua ye o mamoe. Awa e fio ifo male langi le ali lava, male alanga, male leo le angel sili, male pua le atua. E mua mua fo yo na toe tu mai o e ua oti o ya keriso. O na fa fo se ilea o na binae o i tato o e ola mat toe. Fa tasi mai la to yao ina ia fita ya i male ali i i le vani monimo. On a tato fatasi pea la valea, maleli, ole nei, yo to fifa ma fan fanai, ai inei upu. Ye fa manuia maile tua, ile faita wina, olana fiona. Greetings again, family and friends. So we will have a special reading from Helena uh, Loy. Hello, family. Uh, today, I'm going to be reading a poem titled To Those I Love and those who love me. When I am gone, release me, let me go. I hope so many things to see and do. You mustn't tie yourself to me with tears. Be happy that we had so many years. I gave to you my love, you can only guess how much you gave to me in happiness. I thank you for each, for what each of you have shown. But now it's time I travel on alone. So grieve a while for me, if you grieve you must, then let your grief be comforted by trust. It's only a while, for a while, that we must part. So bless the memories within your heart. I won't be far away, for life goes on. So if you need me, call and I will come. Though you can't see or hear me, I'll be near. And if you listen with your heart, you hear. All my love around you, soft and clear. And then when you must come this way alone, I'll greet you with a smile and say, welcome home. Thank you. Okay, all right. Um, again, greetings again, family and friends. We have a... Uh, Special music from Angelo Aloy and Melody Fowler. Oh, okay, good. 
good. Testing, testing. Testing. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired. Simon's brother, Seal. Would you please come up and testimony?
Ole wi ol mato ai ka. E tos fulu mal lima mato fana. A wa ole wi. O Simona e lona todo mai fa solonga ol ol fana o pelu mamana. Satu uai simona lumato uai gam samu uai leafe iwa selau ono iwa ai fa tua ono o tau sanga ole sau nga lea simona sau uai fa fo i amerika e le i to e o o tu samu simon e o o ma i tei mil nei. Aau le awa mali fa alu alu. Ute awa tua ile fa tai ile fa nau. Ole soi fuanga simona. Ole tele ole soi fuanga simona. O ia to o malan fa nau. So far, I'm a little of Simona, to all of a day, oh, I never knew. Oh, yeah, to Omer and Fana. Now, they are what to far Rallo. Is she also here? The Mao Mayo, Petero from me now. O ia lea e tupulanga ma e tupulanga ma Simona na te iloa leidu so i fuanga o Simona ma i sa amua e a ma sa o ma i fata si i fako ma o il malo o i tono il malo e a ua e lea i sa o tal tele i se ouso Ia uan tu ua e simona sa mua mali ainga ai fa tu a ono o tau sanga. Ia ole saunga le a simona. Fei loa i ai mato. Ia ole olanga a to a simona. O ia a to o malan fanau. Ia ia o o mai a i tai mil nei. Lea wa ma liwa lea yi le fa na wa to. Ye tu wa tu la wa noa yi. Lea wa sunga pe te ru. Pira fa wa mina. Se e fa yi sin ta la pu pu wa sa wa fa nga. O si mo na wa yi lea se fa wa ta la. O le te le i lo po le a sok ta la tsui fwa nga ti mona wa o te le i fei loa i a ti mona. Che i ho o ma i a i tai mil nei ma fei loa i a i amerika. I lo wawa ma le fa lo alo. Pire.
testing. Hello. Good morning, Talofa. Before I say something to Brother Simona, let's introduce ourselves to each other on the floor. This is the first time we met. Please. Someone. Oh, yeah. Talofa. I believe everybody here is related to Simona one way or the other. Huh? Mm -hmm. Can I see the side of those who related to Simona on the tall side? Okay, so the quick. Okay. You know, we all have to know each other before we continue on. So everybody speak some more? Because I'm going to try to do this in some more because my English is very small and literary. But I know what's going on. Yeah, Talofa, Patalofa to Yatu, to Uma, Elitina, Maritama, Bishop for Noah. Then, oh, yeah, Talofa, I'll soon have a finger. Yeah, or I may or may have a no tattoo finger, yeah. Faptai, Faptayatu, for it for now is Mona, Mato. What? It was a first cousin Simona, my one so for my young father. Also, also, money on your no foil mako. Uncle, yam tam fire asu too long or so for. Yam mama, oh my ma lo, Simona Lan and Musa will believe. I know what oh. How loud and how well I mean much as he seems so. Not how tall Malini for Pierre Lali tire. Tell tall Malini, the toy lo motor, motor, oh my lo Malini will retire, I will retire at all. Yeah, we are no one low eyed was moved or something. Our belt of the tie, after I tell you to whom I was just a woman, that to Valley Valley and Lofa Illuso. A messy lover on the family of Tom's mother. Never knocked those who are seven nor so why I see so also in the old alone with me. We are from my little mafi toy boat. We are Captain. No, no, I'm not so less of that fear. The eye that to fear fear were Malanga Simona or ten to some along so for no fear fear that to all so for that to for a while too long on enough of your fear, enough of your fun, enough of Tausia. You know, alone, no, I know, you know, for no pass your manga, wow, some more of a year. they are finna ya pecker machine to lua. Pecker, long to ma, missing now to small pecker seed by law out in the yellow way. Ya a missing show to lua. She might ya or to lua little pecker. Or if I tell you a full initial or in my tail smona, ya manao, ma Rachel, or for now la ya also smona. Smona. Paul to match a mati to two son mato aima. In the war, no years from when I love no so yes, offer. Power alternate of yes, not a name now yet, but of one year now. I to two the lala mons mona map, and of two early as mona on such. Only may ceiling tower, only no for my tenata. I talked to it. Well, they also lost more than some fire or tomato and my puffu lily. For me, I am an hour of a little. How my wall I am a small, it's too so mine. 
e no fu mai sta nate e no fa o tu mo blano papin e mo blano fu e no e no fu fu e no no so re so fa e fa o analisi se no si mo no so fa so fa i e mo mo le na e dim na tu lang tu lang on ma no si tin ya i wala la i me a oh lo tala la ya si mo si mo na o le fa talo to si le fi la tu ti la i ti e ti ki ti nei fa ma ta mo nei sa mo o ti ki ti a Kole fa te anu mar tasi ale ale au ale me esi olo bu moni ana le simona ole mo to tiol ta alo le le yo simona le ta alo mo ole kiu kiti pa uni si uni mo simona le ya e mo ho simona me le o tala pelo salo ai me le o le che to kole fa pelo le ta a simona se va te lo fa e se le po ma wo ya se fu ma yo simona ya o ma o le uso le ma o fa pe e uso ma tina ma tamale ma tua la tina wa ya ala titi tina osbona tina osbona o mona o loto benu sa tele fa buina o ngi tu to ma de ya o lo tina o pie tu inga tu ka fa buina ta lo fa le uso le o ma fe lo ta tu fe lo o mono no se fu ya Ola lua ngi ni su fu ngi ka tu ye, o ta tu yu ngi ale, a, ma wo le ngi fi e fi, ka wo ngi che ni te tau, ma o ri o ri mi fa i me le le ye fi fi e i o i, ma lo wa i ma, ya ma le sita ngi te je lo fa i e, ya ni je ni fu si fa mi te la, a e o tu e fa pi a, fa fi ta i, fa fi ta i le fa na wo si mo na, fa fi ta i a te o tu u ma e me si la ma le su ngi fa pe ma i ma, ya wo. Tonu e mawo no fawo si mono leu sawo fai fiau, wa anani sawo nde fai fiau, e isi no fawo si mono leu, ya mono, ya ta lo fosi a tiwo leu sosi u ka fulo e wa, e si temi ta tonu a ya a ne si di, ya ya mawo e lau fa na mo ma to u ma le manu ya ma le fie fia, a a ye u ma to temi leu ma leu na e le, ya lau sumo ta pe ngai fa fu ro 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 fu fu ste ni o luma ta to fu wa fu ma to ya ta to ma pa pe le lo fo le tu fa fu ro fe le ma lo si ti oi ya ma ti na o ma lo ma po pe o ma lo ai fa ma nu ye ma to u ma la ma fa na o simona a i o simona ta to no ni ya so la ma to wo ma fi fi le u ma to ba ai fa no lo simon fe fi a o simona a o ya ตาลูกพี่เนี่ยตาตัวพี่รอยยาเอาเงาเลยเนาะมันมีตาตรงที่เฟรอยยาเนี่ยมันมีเทเลลาวาตัวหูมาเลยยาสุวาฟูฟว
with either definition, past or present, I think it is obvious that we all love Grandpa and continue to love him very much to this day. But his one and only love was Grandma. He loved Grandma with all his heart. Never have I seen two people so dedicated to one another, even after almost 50 years of marriage. This dedication and love they show to one another and their families is something to be envious of. It is comforting to know that they soon will be together once again in heaven on that glorious morning. I know that they'll be singing Precious Lord, one of their favorite songs, to Uncle Chris, Auntie Hawaii, and everyone else there in heaven, like they often did here with us all. Now, anyone who sat down with my grandpa would have probably already heard at least three church songs. Oh, he loved to sing. Excuse me. His smile could light up the room. He had the most comforting sound. When he spoke, it was as everything that you were going through at that moment was non-existent. And I would be completely at peace watching you smile towards the crowd, even though you would always say you can't see, but you knew exactly where to look because you said you could feel the love. And you did, Papa. We love you very much. When I was younger, I spent, I spent the night at my grandparents' house on a regular basis, so much so that my parents would have to drive from Compton to Santa Ana to pick me up and basically force me to come back home because I wouldn't want to leave their house. Um, one night in particular, my grandparents came to um, our house and they pulled up in the front of our house in this brand new mobile home. Now you gotta understand, I'm a girl in Compton, living in Park Village at the time, so when they pulled up, I was completely floored. Um, we've never seen anything like that before. I thought Grandma and Grandpa were the richest people in the world when they pulled up. I mean, they had a house on wheels. I'll never forget that night. My siblings and I running around, going through all the drawers, opening the cabinet doors, sitting on the tiny couch, playing with the little sink and opening the, min the mini refrigerators. Probably one of the best days of my childhood. I ended up spending the whole summer there that, uh, that, that year with grandma and grandpa. My grandparents spoiled me rotten, especially grandpa. Everything I wanted, I got. I remember eating IHOP for breakfast every morning for three months straight because I wanted pancakes and only IHOP pancakes. Mm -hmm. Thursdays was my favorite day of the week. Grandpa got home and he'd walk in the house while Grandma and I were watching our soap operas, Young and Restless, General Hospital, Days of Our Lives. <laughs> he'd say, Titi, let's go to the Thrifty. I'd already be in his galao truck by the time he was done giving Grandma a kiss hello. I'd get a double scoop of mint chocolate chip and Grandpa would get a single scoop of chocolate peanut butter. We'd take the long way home and Grandpa would ask me how our day was, Grandma and I. I remember telling Grandpa all about General Hospital. That was like our favorite soap opera and how Luke Spencer and Laura Spencer were Grandma's favorite couple. <sighs> Later that evening at the dinner table, Grandpa made a joke and he said, you know, Mama, TT shouldn't be watching those shows, you know. She, she's going to grow up and she's going to be a dramatic, just like those actors on those soap operas. Well, he was right. Very dramatic. <laughs> Sabbath. I remember Fridays being an event. Super busy preparing for the Sabbath. I'd wait by the front door for Grandpa so I could show him my beautiful dress that my grandma brought me. Grandma would go that my grandma would buy me for church. I'd spin around in my dress with Grandpa smiles and says, what a beautiful dress, TT. I love spending time with him. 
He told me the best Bible stories, and each story always had a meaning to it. Saturday's morning, we'll get up, get dressed, and go to church. I remember always wanting to stay with Grandpa during the Sabbath school. I thought staying with him was much funner than going to the actual Sabbath class. Grandpa would have to bribe me for other, Grandpa would have to bribe me in order for me to go to class. Before you know it, he was kind of going broke every Saturday. <laughs> One time I think I, I actually told Grandpa it was going to cost him 50 bucks for me to go to practice and go to class. Grandma wasn't really happy with that. <laughs> I can go on and on about my wonderful grandfather. I have nothing but fond memories of us. He may have not been the perfect man or perfect father, but he was a great grandfather to me. And that is my testimony. I love you, Papa, always will, and you will always remain in my heart. I love her. about to get blessed from Uncle Simona. <laughs> um, so many. So, like I said, he played um, a big role in our lives. He was really close with my father and um, always showed us love. Even after we left California and moved up here in the late 80s, he knew we used to, we loved um, when, Auntie, when June's husband would make Masi Singers. So um, we moved up here in the late 80s and he would still send us care packages with packs and packs of uh, Masi Singers and all kinds of um, goodies and stuff. He never missed a birthday. Every holiday he would call us to wish us, you know, happy holidays and sit there and, okay, niece, we, me and Auntie's going to sing a song. So we just sit there and have him on speaker and listen to them sing. Um, nothing but good, good memories. He was such a great man, a man of his words. <sighs> I'm going to miss you, Uncle. Thank you so much. Thank you for being the prime example of loving wholeheartedly. When he says he loves you, he loves you. He doesn't just say it. The, besides my dad, he was the most humblest man that I knew who loved unconditionally. Uncle, I'm yellow malanga. God bless our family. God bless everybody today. And special big thanks to Sister Teresa and Tamara and her kids for taking such good care of him. 
You know, when I got the word that uncle passed, I was so angry with myself because I'm here in Washington. I didn't, I don't have no excuses of why I didn't make it, but it was a big lesson for me that no matter how busy you are in life, you have to make that time to visit your loved ones because you just never know, you know, you never know. So I'm not going to live my life in regrets knowing that I should have been there because I know, Uncle, I, I know you know my heart. I love and appreciate you so much. You will be truly missed. But again, thank you, Teresa and all her children for taking such good care of him. May God's blessings and, um, and everything be upon you guys. Thank you again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello family, my name is Melody Faola and I am one of uh, Grandpa Simon's uh, granddaughters. Uh, to be honest, you know, I didn't write a testimony like my sister Tila did, but um, I would like to share my stories and my memories with my grandfather. Um, both my grandma and my grandpa, they uh, they're the ones who inspired me to get into music and singing. Um, both my grandma and grandpa, they're the ones who named me Melody. Uh, without them, my, my life would not be the same. And I know that for a fact. And I want to thank them and I want to thank grandpa for always pushing me and believing in me to fulfill my dreams and whatever I want to be in life. Ever since I moved up here from uh, California, I made sure that every year during the summer or winter break, I would go and visit my grandparents. Um, my grandpa would always spoil me. Always say, Melo, do you want to go to the fish and chip? You go fish and chip. I help anything you want. And I say, of course, grandpa. Go ahead, we go. And every Friday, every Friday night, we get together, he will open the Sabbath, and we sing songs all night, all night long. He would make me sit down and read scriptures from the, the Bible in Samoan. And my Samoan is really bad, but he always makes sure that I practice my Samoan and try and learn a memory verse by heart. My grandfather, he was the best grandfather anyone could ever ask for. And I'm so blessed to have had him in my life. He inspires me and inspires everyone in this room. And I want to thank him for everything he has done for me. You will be very missed, and I miss you a lot, Grandpa, already. Every day, ever since we have found out with the news, it's been harder and harder. But I know you would want us to push forward and just remember the memories of you. I love you a lot, Grandpa, and thank you for everything you've done for us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so at this time we're going to go ahead and um, close uh, open testimonies and proceed with the uh, special music What my, for... Malama, Malama here? Malama. Auntie Malama and Malama. Lil says Malama, there we go.
There's a land that is fairer than day And by faith we can see afar For the Father waits over the way At this time, we'd like to call Tamara Alpha for the eulogy. I'm just getting prepared because I already know. <clears throat> Hello, family and friends. For those who don't know me, my name is Tamara Tawaitolu Alpha. <clears throat> I am the oldest grandchild of my grandfather, Simona Penusatele. When I first started trying to plan out this eulogy for my grandpa, it really seemed impossible. As we gather here today to celebrate the life of our brother, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, uncle, and friend, I am going to do my best to do him justice and hopefully show you a little bit of the person grandpa was. <clears throat> Papa was born on March 6, 1951, in Pongo Pongo, American Samoa. He left American Samoa in the early 70s to the state of Hawaii, where Papa served in the military, the Marine Corps. Then Papa was transferred to Camp Pendleton in Oceanside, California, where he met my grandmother, 
to To'o and took on five kids and raised them as his very own. My grandparents were both baptized and married at the Alta Vista SDA Church. Since then, my grandparents have been very active members of the SDA belief. My grandparents were pioneers of the Vista Samoan Seven Day Adventist Church. Papa was well respected, was a well respected head elder of the Vista SDA Church for numerous years. If anyone knew anything about gran my grandparents, it definitely was that my grandparents loved their SDA faith and were God-fearing people. My grandparents spend most of their lives serving for God by involving themselves in the churches they attended, Vista, Santa Ana, and Riverside SDA churches. And Papa remained faithfully in his faith. My Papa prayed every morning and every night of every day. My Papa loved God, family, and music. Papa was a musical person. It was in his soul. Papa played all type of musical instruments from the trumpet to the piano. Singing and playing his ukulele and piano was a passion of Papa's. And even though Papa wasn't on any social media, he knew about Facebook. Anytime Papa wanted to sing or play his ukulele, he would ask me, sweetie, are you ready to put me on Facebook? I would tell Papa, sorry, wrong granddaughters. That's t Tanya. And sure enough, my sisters will have their phones ready. My Papa was definitely an entertainer. He knew how to work a crowd by singing or even telling jokes. He can make people laugh about anything and everything. Every morning, my papa will fill our home with his voice as early as six in the morning. That was my personal alarm clock. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> by singing church songs or even songs that will be streaming on the iPad. Oh, how I'm going to miss your voice, papa. <laughs> Grandpa was a caring, but he, caring person, but he knew how to stand for what he believed in. And I think everyone here has a good memory of Grandpa that they can share. My Grandpa's pride and joy was his family. Papa loved being around family, especially his great-grandchildren. I am so glad that my nieces and nephews grew up knowing and having a bond with their great-grandparents. Papa would sing to his great-grandchildren and help them teach to play certain musical instruments. Wonderful memories, Papa. My husband James and I had the privilege of taking Papa in with us in the middle of 2019. And I'm so thankful that my husband got to know my papa and had developed, developed his own relationship with grandpa. I will always remember how my grandpa would tell us stories of his childhood and early days with grandma. I will truly miss the times when we would laugh together. James and papa will sing together, go to our favorite restaurants, and even go visit our favorite spot just between us, Papa. It hasn't been the same, Papa. Our home just doesn't feel the same without you there. When I reflect on my time over the past few years with Grandpa, I remember meaningful conversations and a lot of jokes being shared. He had a great sense of humor, and I felt like I can talk to him about anything. He was a shoulder to lean on, a friend to rely on, and a rock for our whole family. I think about my family values and how there aren't most, aren't they most important things to people anymore. My family has been close and always stuck together. Grandpa was a proud man and he took pride in working hard for what he had. There are no words to express the feelings of loss from losing a grandpa. 
This year, 2021, was going to be a special year. Because this year would have, Papa would have turned 70. We were looking forward to celebrating Papa on his birthday. But it's okay, Papa, because I know you're going to celebrate with your first true love, Grandma. I think we have all had a place of us taken away, but we can rest easy knowing Papa is in a much better place. Papa, there hasn't been a day that has gone by where I don't think of you or hear your voice. You will always tell me to be strong, sweetie, for you, and I will, Papa. Papa, you will be missed. I think we have all had a piece of us taken away, but we can rest assured knowing, Grandpa, you're doing better. You're no longer in pain. I always remember the many wonderful memories I have of us. I'll always think of you with a smile, Papa. Now you are reunited with Grandma, Uncle Chris, and Auntie Hawaii. I know Grandpa is with us in spirit and will watch over all of us. Heaven has gained another angel. We love you, Grandpa. Thank you. Okay, at this time we'll go ahead and have the uh, Stephen Toitolu and James Alpha for special music and Silai. The sweeter he grows, the longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. The more that I love him, the more he bestows. 
Each day is like heaven, my heart overflows the longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows. The longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows. The more that I love Him, the more love He bestows. Each day is like heaven, my heart overflows. The longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows. Thank you. Thank you. Is it, is it, is it, is it on? I mean, I'm not even sure if the mic was on. It, it, Yes. Okay, at this time I'd like to call um, all of Simona's uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren for the family song. Is it is it on? Is it on? Testing, testing. Okay.
proceed with the sermon of Pastor Fred's will. Before I begin, I want to ask uh, Tila and Tamar if they can ask their siblings, their children to join us uh, inside here so that uh, I may, that they may benefit from this. Because funerals are not for the dead, the funerals are for the living. Would you say amen? Amen. I want to ask if the children could make their way inside as much as possible so that we can all benefit from uh, the word this morning. Mumua ona watu le mua malifafatai ili tato tapau le langi ona ole nea wa noa ma tu mo fi wa tato moa fafatai fo i i suyo ainga i mese ia uso o le uso nea simona ili mafai ona lava mai i mese fo i ia Tamasa Moli Mawina Le Soifua Ole Tama Yasimona. Ya Vatule Faf Time Malifa Malo. Temi Lava Ne and Moni Lava Upu Ole Atunu or Tangata Malona Siosio Manga Tangata Malona Ainga Tangata Malona Nu Aline Tayao Ya Tauto Fa Maene Tailoto But your Samoa. Wasa mo mo ntofi, nunua tu na fati ni tosal. Waile aise ni i sala se upu ale fa fau le nei taia. Ya ai ya tato pa ia il pa ia le tua. Wala yon tato poto poto ile so. I want to thank God not only for the privilege of being asked to conduct uh, this funeral service, but also more importantly, to share in your sorrow. Someone says, shared sorrow is half sorrow. And the Bible says uh, we ought to be joyful together. When we mourn, we mourn together. When we cry, we cry together. 
rejoice, rejoice together. I'd like to share the next few moments with you from the Word of God. I want to take a thought from the book of Psalm. Psalm chapter 90, verse 10 to verse 12, I will, hear, I will read for your hearing. The days of our lives are 70 years, and if by reason of strength they are 80 years, yet their boast is only labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Let's pray. Father God, I want to commit to you this morning your children. Have your way with us this morning is my prayer. Amen. Moses wrote this psalm in his old age, and he's looked, as he looked back over his lifetime, over the course of his life, he recognizes the eternal amazement of, uh, of, of God and who he was to him. And so Moses says, uh, God teach us to number our days. Not only that, so that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Those two points that I want to make this morning. Truth is, we live before the eternal God under a death sentence. Even if we reach 70 or 80 years, it will be filled with sorrow and pain, troubles. Some already have reached that. You know, it's a privilege to have known <clears throat> Simon. I know Tamara and Lai and Tila. You don't know me, but I know you. I know your parents. Your father is my cousin. Married Teresa. I know June. June married John. And uh, hearing... Back in the days, yeah, we were straight from Compton. And uh, those were the good old days. And those days, I also remember your papa. I grew up in Compton, in the Compton Church, while he was there at the Vista Church. I'll say more the, about um, his life as we go through this text that I wanted to share with you. Just two points. Moses says, number our days. Teach us to number our days. For my Moses says, Awa o mai mato, ina ima fai ona mato, fai ta wina o mato waso. You know, life is a book. A book of your life and you are the author. Each day, a new page is written. The last page is marked. The end. When you lie in a coffin, the book of your life 
will be written, will already have been written. Today, we celebrate the end of a book, of a life, of a God-fearing man. The book of the life of Simona Sartele has closed. It's been about 25,000 pages plus. Because this year will have marked the 70th year of his life. He has lived according to the word of God, believe it or not, would you say amen? Fitu se fulu tau sanga olo o valo ia mai le tuspa ia ola ili tangata. If you live beyond that, you'll be living with pain. Death is so prevalent today, my friends. Last week I preached at another funeral of a, a mother whose pages of her life ended at the age of 52. A week before that, three weeks ago, I preached at a funeral of a young man. Samoan young man, killed right here in Seattle, 25 years old. Death is prevalent, even with this COVID now, even more so. I also regret, like one of the sisters today, because I knew Simona. I didn't realize he was here until my wife came one day when she was working for the King County. She came home and she said, honey, guess who I met today? I never would have guessed. And she said, I met Simona. I didn't recognize him. But when I told him my name, he immediately knew who she was. And my wife had begged me. To find time to come and visit him. And like the dear sister, I also regret that. It's much to do, but I am thankful. When tomorrow asked me to come, I said I had no problem doing that. I'd be happy to come. And so, Papa's children and grandchildren, I'm speaking directly to you today. First, I want to thank you for organizing this. I've been to funerals where it wasn't organized. I'm proud of a lot of being here. Teal and tomorrow, seemed like you guys got this thing together. And because of your love for your papa. The psalmist affirms that uh, we shall all die. Unless the Lord comes first, one of two things will happen to any one of us. We will either die first or Jesus will come. And then he says, teach us to number our days. Yes. We all shall die. Our days are numbered. Unless the Lord comes first, someday all of us, Solomon says, we will all die. That's why most, most old folks know how to number their days. Would you say amen? Children don't know how to number their days. They don't think of death. It doesn't even enter their minds that someday they will die. Young people... Young people think they live forever sometimes. They don't number their days. As a result, some young people live as if there were no God. They live careless lives. They live with no purpose. Sadly enough, it involves even our Samoan young people. But I'm thankful today as I was sitting there just observing how you have led out in your papa's service and talked about a God-fearing man and I'm, and I'm seeing you are, you're, you're doing everything that you can to bring this to a memorable day for you. You're singing songs that he used to sing. And so I know 
that this man knew how to number his days. And it seemed like you want to follow in those footsteps to also know how to number your days. Sadly enough, even some adults today don't know how to number their days. They may be old, but they don't know how to number their days. I think today I'm speaking about a man that knew how to number his days. Friends, the truth about life is this. You can be here today and gone tomorrow. So, Saul, so Moses says, teach us how to number our days. James pulls no punches when he says, you are just a vapor that, ab- that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. And then finally the psalmist says, so that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Those who number their days gain wisdom. Job says, wisdom is with aged men, and length of days is understanding. In other words, young people, papa's children, wisdom comes with age. The older you get, the wiser you become. Sometimes, I know that uh, there are young people today that think their parents are just too old-fashioned and don't know about the, the, the feeling in, in this day and age, in the generation of today, technology. And so you think your papa don't know anything. But I want to reassure you, wisdom comes with age. And for a Samoan young man and young woman, which means you will never be successful unless you have the blessing of your parents. And I am certain, I am certain that this man bestowed his blessing on his children as well as his grandchildren. You know, there's a big difference between wisdom of an older person than the wisdom of young people. Remember a story that was told of a wise old man who retired and purchased a modest home near a junior high school. And so he spent the first uh, few weeks uh, in his retirement home with peace and contentment. Then a new school year just began. The very next afternoon, three young boys came down the street beating merrily on every trash can that uh, they encountered down the street close to this man's house. The clashing percussion continued week after week and until the, uh, the, uh, the wise old man decided, I, I need to put a stop to this nonsense. So the next week, these same boys came down and he, he stops the boys and he says, uh, you kids are a lot of fun. I like to see you express your exuberance like that. In, in fact, I used to do that when I was young, so he told the little boys. And then he says, boys, why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you, I will give you each of you a dollar when you come out every week and bang on these trash cans in the neighborhood. The boys agreed for a few weeks. That's what they did. Every week they would come by and bang on these trash cans. The following week, they came again. The old man came and stopped him. And so the old man says, uh, hey, guys, this is really putting a a big dent in my income, you know. Uh, You know, from now on, I can't pay you a a dollar for each of you. I, I can only pay you 50 cents. Well, another week came. The young boys came around again, and the boys, 
came and, and the old man came out and says, uh, boys, I'm sorry, I can't pay you 50 cents anymore. My uh, social security check has been dinged by the government and so I can only pay you 25 cents to bang the trash cans. And the boys got upset in this and said, uh, oh man, who you think you are? We ain't gonna waste our time coming here and spend all of our afternoon here banging on these trash and, and you're gonna only pay us 25 cents? And that was the last time they made noise in the neighborhood. There's a difference between old wisdom and young people's wisdom. Those who number their days not only have gained a heart of wisdom, but also know the essence of life. Those who number their days who have gained a heart of wisdom have their priorities right. Would you say amen? Uh, what is important in life? What is it that life offers? Those with a heart of wisdom know that what's important in life is, uh, is that God has been part of your life and that God's name has been praised and recognized in your life. What is important in life is, is good works, a uh, life of love, a life in which one has labored in the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and best, uh, best of one's ability. What is important in life is that children and grandchildren have been taught to fear the Lord. What is important in life is spending time in the word and in prayer. No one who has gained a heart of wisdom stands at death's door boasting about his own uh, position or wealth or, or honor or glory or achievement in life. No one. All of this nonsense comes to an end when death comes knocking at the door of your life. And so I admire the grandchildren today recognizing that their father, their grandfather, their papa taught them the ways of the Lord, taught them how to fear God. I remember very well Simona and Toto and their commitment to the church in Vista. Uh, I remember when I was growing up as a youth, they were youth leaders. I understand they came from youth leaders, and then they, they, we would have these camp meetings together. And uh, every church, there was marching youth club, marching competition, and Simona was their commander. And then after that, they became pioneers of what was called the Seafarers Club. They, they led out in that from Vista Church. I remember those days, and I always knew there were special people at Vista that, hold that held that church together, and one of them was Simona. So he served in, in youth ministry. He served in young couples ministry, and he also became the first elder of the church. That's the next position to the pastor. So you can see that your grandfather was a very reliable man of God, and he served God. Until he gave his life to the Lord. Do you know how to number your days? Those who number their days, those who have gained a heart of wisdom, know that our days are a gift from God. And we ought to use those gifts wisely. As you look back in your own life, let me ask you, have you counted your days? Have you noticed that your life is a gift from God? Have you used each day to glorify God in your life? Have you invested time in your loved ones? Time is one of the most precious commodities that all of us have. Time is much more valuable than, than money can ever buy. How and where are you spending your time? I was browsing on Facebook. Um, so just to get a feel of Simona and his grandchildren and I 
went on to uh, Tila and Tamara, especially Tila's page. It's full of memories of her papa. And I saw that he loved to play the ukulele and try to teach his grandchildren. And, and, and he would play it and sing it to his grand, great-grandchildren. I also enjoy music. And I also knew that Simona enjoyed music. This is a man that understands the values of life. This is a man that understands that life is a gift from God. And this is a man who wanted to pass that gift on and that knowledge and wisdom on to his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren. This was a man who knew and acknowledged that life and children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren are a gift from God. Our days are given by God as a gift to use for God's glory and God's glory always and only. I always say this to my church family. If your life doesn't minister for God, if it doesn't bring any glorification to God, then you're not worshiping the right God. Finally, heart of wisdom. What is a heart of wisdom? A heart of wisdom is a heart that's filled by Jesus. A heart filled by Jesus is a pure heart. And Jesus himself says, those with a pure heart will see God. And so those with a heart of wisdom are certain of their relationship with their maker for they know that one day they will stand before the righteous judge. Those with a heart of wisdom confess their sins. Those with a heart of wisdom give their hearts to Jesus and accept his salvation. Those with a heart of wisdom are converted and are born again. Those with a heart of wisdom love the Lord with all their heart, with all of their soul, with all of their mind, and all of their strength. I believe Simona's heart was filled by the love of Jesus. <laughs> Because of our frailty, we need to learn to number our days and write good pages uh, to the books of our lives all the way to the last page when death comes upon us. What is being penned? What is being penned about your life today? My prayer is that the pages that are being written in our lives today include a solid relationship with Jesus. That's what I believe this man had. He definitely had a solid relationship with Jesus. Lord God, please teach us to number our days. Let why? Fai loa mai. Awa o mai mato. Ima fai o na mato fai tawina o mato waso. May God's peace be with Simona. This peace of God will also be with you. Will also be with all of us. Is my prayer. Amen. Apuno mai o to wao. Bow your heads. We'll offer a word of prayer. Our Father and our God. We have come to the close of our program today. Lord, what a God. What an awesome God. What a God who has been reflected in the life of such a man as Simona. And Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for his children. Thank you for his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. Thank you, Lord, for the reflection of his life in them. And that reflection uh, is sourced and birthed from your relationship with him. And Father, I pray that they will continue on to hold on to that legacy of his that will take them all the way to your kingdom when you come. Let 
And while he rests in his grave, awaiting for that day when you shall come, I pray, Lord, that he will be one that you will call and say, uh, enter in to the joy of your salvation. Lord, as we dismiss from this place, please never dismiss us from your presence is my prayer. Let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Okay, at this time we'll go ahead and have the uh, Marine Corps come in and do their ceremony and acknowledging with the flag, right?
this time we'll invite our family for the final viewing of our grandfather. Roger, if you can play the slideshow.
do you do in daily? Are your days filled with love and light? Is there music? Is there art and invention? Tell me, are you happy? Are you more alive?
I'd like to take this opportunity to say something because we were kind of late. Apologize for that. But um, I'm one of uh, Uncle Simona's many nieces um, and um, I when I grew up Simona wasn't there I was born in American Samoa he was already out here in the military I guess and but um, I never really knew Uncle Simona that as much as uh, Sister Becca did because they grew up with him but um, the short times I've known Uncle Simona, um, yeah, like everybody has testified already, he's a very loving man. He's a family man. Um, and when 
was a few years ago, maybe a couple years ago, when uh, we went down to Cali and visited them, um, when Antisoa was still uh, with us. E Vista, I think. Um, e, 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 that one thing I noticed every time, and then the other few times we visited him when they came up. E e e e so they would always play something. We wouldn't. We can't leave without them singing something, um, or have us sing with them. Anyways, um, our family is a very uh, musical family. My dad is older than Simon. Uncle Simon is right after my dad. So, um, but uh, I think my dad was a master. Um, and so they, all the siblings that followed after him, followed in his footsteps. Um, so we love singing, and they love, they can play any instrument, I guess. But um, so today I, um, I really wanted to sing this song. Um, everybody knows it. But, um, and if you can, please sing along and help me out. I don't have a great voice, but I really wanted to sing this song for everybody, for the grandkids, his kids, and everybody out here. Um, um, so, there's, I, I translated it to Psalm 1, too, so bear with me. There is no problem too big, God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall, He cannot move it. There is no storm too dark, God cannot calm it. There is no sorrow too deep, he cannot soothe it. If he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know, my brother, that he will carry you. If he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know my sisters that he will carry you. He said, come unto me.
Thank you, sister. I was moved by the song and knowing our grandfather, uh, he loved music. And if he were here today, he'll be singing a few songs. You know, <clears throat> if it was anyone else's funeral, everybody knows he'll get up. He'll be the first one to start singing. So I like to, you know, say a few words in the memory. I married a Tila and uh, back in 2002 when we were just dating, you know, I met Toto and uh, <clears throat> Toto was, she was the sweetest old, you know, lady ever. And uh, Tila took me, she was like, in order to get into my grandparents' house, uh, you'd have to go to my grandmother, because my grandfather is a very strict man. And uh, he was. <laughs> and uh, so I, she took me there, and I didn't meet him initially, because she was afraid of his reaction. But uh, I met Toto. You know, and uh, Toto was like, Grandma was, yeah, you know, you wait, let me, let me soften up Grandpa's heart because this is his granddaughter. It's his girl, you know, and he's not just going to hand over his girl, you know, to just anyone, you know. And I said, okay, I'll give, it a, I'll give it some time. And Grandma's like, she assured me, I'll soften him up and I'll let you know, and then you can come. And once you meet the old man, don't even worry about her parents. <laughs> And I said, okay, okay, well, you know, because in uh, Fasamoa, I grew up here in Fasamoa, you know, it's uh, in order to w get into the, into the family, you know, you got to be able to, you know, you walk through the front door and meet the parents, you know, and uh, <clears throat> meet the grandparents, and, you know, and follow all the And uh, so if, a couple weeks later, was it? Uh, I got a call, and Grandma says, uh, you know, you can come, you know, we'll set up a time. So I went there and I met, you know, uh, Simona, and he's a stern man, you know. Uh, I would say a jealous man. And you would understand if you're a grandparent, I guess, or, or a parent, you don't just hand over your child to some person, you know, especially another man, you know. And uh, he sat down and he said, so who are you? And I introduced myself, and uh, he says, are you sure this is what you want to do? I'm like, yeah, this is what I want to do. And to touch back what she said, she was pretty expensive, you know, to him. And <laughs> his subtle humor, he was like, well, you know, I guess if you want to take up the burden, she's a very expensive girl. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, my granddaughter's very, very expensive. And uh, I don't know if you're going to make it. <laughs> but, you know, you can have her. You know, to take good care of her. When you came up here and uh, we sat down, I never said nothing to her about it. And, you know, she, we got to talking one day and he said, uh, is it Talo? Thank you. I said, what? Thank you. You know, you're welcome. You know, we'll do whatever, you know, we can to help you and, you know, and take care of you. And, <clears throat> and he said, no, thank you for taking my granddaughter, you know, and building a life with her, you know. 
Now, I'm not saying I'm not perfect. I'm not great or anything. But I said, Grandpa, I tried my best, you know, and, uh, and we'll keep working on it, you know. And he says, thank you, because so far, so good. You guys are doing good. You guys got kids, and you guys are moving along just fine. And he, uh, he said, God will always be with you, and I give you guys my blessings. You know, so every time he'd come over to the house, he'd always, you know, encourage us, you know, teach us the way and, you know, encourage us to be good parents, you know, to stay with God, you know, and uh, teach the kids music. You know, when Toto passed away on her, her dying wish was one of her great grandkids would be getting into music. You know, at least play some sort of instrument, learn how to sing, you know. And uh, so, so far, so good. We're making progress, you know. We're teaching, you know, the kids to sing. And so far, my eldest son, Tanhelo here, is picking it up pretty good. So, you know, since the man loved music, we're going to give him our final song. And uh, it's probably the last song I sang for Grandma before she passed <clears throat> on her deathbed. And uh, now this time, in honor of my, you know, Grandma Toto and uh, Grandpa Simona, me and my son will, will sing the same song for them. <clears throat> so here's my son, Tanielu, and uh, he's an he's a up-and-coming <clears throat> singer. <laughs> and we're just going to, you know, bring what we got, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Ready? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I am you look. Yeah. And I also sang this to every one of my kids, you know, when they were babies, so I don't know where the other two are at, but, you know, we're just going to go for it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, all my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King. In what you hear, may it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears. Te alofa, ia te oe longwali i, o te tuina tunei, lo ule o mo oe, le fa aola, lo u oli olitanga. Thank you very much.
Is there music? Is there art? Intervention? Tell me, are you happy? Are you more alive? Cause he
we do have this room until 4 p.m., but since um, pretty much everyone that um, came is pretty much who we are expecting. Um, so we're just going to conclude our, I mean, I'm sorry, to two. I'm sorry, for four hours, but yeah, to 2 p.m. But um, we're going to conclude our um, service. But if you choose to stay back and just still spend some time with Papa until we escort him out, um, then you may. Um, if not, um, thank you for coming. On behalf of me and my family and for Papa, who would like to... express our deepest gratitude to every single one of you guys for coming here and being with us during this time for Papa. Thank you, Pastor. Sorry. Um, uh, refreshments are outside. Um, so if you choose to leave, you know, um, please don't forget to, you know, pick up your plate. And I mean, we have everyone out there ready, set and go. So, but um, thank you again. And we love you guys all. And may the Lord continue to bestow his uh, blessings on you. And I'm sure of that. And take, take thought in that. Know that uh, God's blessings is from your parents, your grandparents. And I know that he has uh, prayed that he will bless you as he leads you to continue to serve uh, the Lord. And uh, I've been impressed with what you have been doing. And it's just evident. Uh, it was evident today that you are following his footsteps. So may the Lord bless you. Your father, Mammy, for the two and Mammy, 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 May your presence ever be with us. Thank you once again for all that you have done for us and what you will continue to do for us. We ask all these names and these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs>
Thank you.
Hello. Uh, 
Hello. Hi. And then the YouTubers. No. I don't know if that mic is working. Hello. Good job, Hello. 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 Or yeah. stand, yeah. Or you want to stand next to the yeah. Go, 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 stand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Precious Lord, linger near when my life is almost gone. Hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Come in. Come in. I'm right here. I'm right here. 
There we go. Okay. And everyone smile. All right, one more. Thank you. 